Have you ever wondered why some things stay etched in your memory, while others vanish within seconds? Imagine this. You remember exactly where you were during a major life moment, yet you keep forgetting where you put your keys. Why do we remember certain things for years while others disappear in the blink of an eye? In this episode, we're diving deep into the mysterious world of your brain to uncover the fascinating mechanics of memory. How does our memory actually work? Think of your memory like a hard drive. It doesn't store everything forever. Some bits of information fade quickly, while others stick around for years or even a lifetime. This all comes down to short-term and long-term memory. Imagine someone dictating a phone number. You might remember it for a few seconds, maybe a minute, but if you don't write it down, you'll likely forget it fast. That's because your brain temporarily stores information in a kind of mental scratch pad. It gets cleared out if unused. That's short-term memory. Your brain uses it to handle quick bits of information. If you don't pay attention or repeat the info, it fades to make room for something new. But if you do write it down or repeat it out loud or connect it to something familiar, like a birthday, you're helping your brain hold on to it longer. Some memories go deeper. Think of your first day at school, your childhood job, or a special holiday. That's long-term memory, where information gets anchored and lasts for years. Your brain stores emotional events more vividly. When something feels exciting, joyful, or significant, your brain sends a signal to flag it as important. That's thanks to a part of your brain called the amygdala. It helps process emotions. Strong feelings act like memory glue. They label moments so they don't fade easily. That's why you remember major life events better than something trivial, like a phone number. What does the amygdala actually do? We mentioned the amygdala earlier. It regulates emotions. But what does that really mean? It's a small but powerful region of your brain that manages emotional responses. Think of it like an internal alarm system. Whether you feel scared, excited, or joyful, the amygdala helps your body respond, like a racing heart during fear or butterflies when you're happy. Strong emotions create strong memories. So that amazing moment or intense day, your amygdala probably locked it in. How does your brain store memories? Your brain uses billions of nerve cells to store memories. These cells talk to each other through tiny connectors called synapses. The more often you repeat something, the stronger those connections become. What are synapses? Synapses are like bridges between nerve cells. They let information move quickly from one cell to another. Imagine your brain as a bustling city. Synapses are the highways, and every time you think, feel, or move, signals race across them keeping everything running smoothly. Why do we forget things? Sometimes your brain simply doesn't mark something as important. It's constantly making space for new info. Details you don't revisit or that fail to stand out slowly fade away. Honestly, that's useful. Imagine remembering everything your head would be total chaos. Then there's deja vu, that strange feeling you've lived a moment before, even though you haven't. This may happen when your brain recognizes a situation that's similar to a past experience, 
with subtle differences. It mixes up an old memory with the present moment and, voila, déjà vu. Can you improve your memory? Yes, you can train your brain using smart techniques, mnemonics, repetition, and self-testing. Eating healthy and getting enough sleep also gives your brain a boost. Does the brain ever stop storing? Never. Your brain is always collecting. But storing doesn't mean preserving perfectly. Sometimes a memory fades like ink on old paper. Other times, it's tucked away, not lost, just waiting for the right moment to reappear. Here's the magic. Your brain decides what's important. What you repeat gets bolded in permanent marker. What you neglect, scribbled faintly in pencil, slowly smudged and forgotten. Trying to remember rarely brings back just one detail. Your brain recreates the whole scene, the sounds, the colors, even the feelings. Sometimes it nails it. Other times, it fills in the gaps, like restoring a faded painting. Your brain doesn't stop. It keeps searching, arranging, rewriting, and sometimes letting go. Not because it's gone, just waiting quietly to return. We've talked about memory, how your brain stores, reshapes, and sometimes forgets. But your brain does so much more. It controls what you see, hear, feel, and think. It moves your body, lets you feel emotions, solves problems, and creates dreams while you sleep. It's always working, even when you don't notice it. Your brain is, quite simply, a wonder. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something new and enjoyed the episode. Got questions, comments, or just want to say hi? Email us at wonderworldtv at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe. We drop fresh discoveries every week. See you next week, right here on Wonderworld TV.